Hey everybody, this is Jeff Gorin, the Zomologist, back once again. Uh, this week, I'm going to review Three Floyd's Harvest Ale called Brewdo. Let's see if I can tilt the uh, light there so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this bottle has, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. There's glare coming off my lamp. Uh, a troll on it, which is weird looking, I know. Um, and so, it's a harvest ale. Uh, what that means is a lot of companies will brew this big IPA or pale ale or something like that, and they use hops fresh off the vine. Uh, they're unkilned, so they don't go through the kiln to dry them out. They just pick them fresh off the vine and these things come out late fall, early winter because it's from the previous batch of harvested hops in the fall, late summer, early fall. So, crack this open, pour it into the glass, alright, so looking at the color and texture, it is a peach sort of color. It's a golden hue, a little more orange than I would have expected. Um, pretty hazy, so my guess is it's going to be a Pale Ale IPA. Yeah, it's definitely an IPA. Um, on the nose, I get a very piney smell. Um, that's very typical of wet hops or a very hoppy beer. Um, some might even say uh, an aroma not unlike cat urine. Um, I prefer piney because cat urine is a little less appealing, believe it or not, than pine. But, so I get pine, I get some malty aroma, and a little bit of citrus, not much, mostly pine. The pine comes through. Um, let me give this a try. It's dry. It's not as dry as I expect it to be as far as leaving your tongue feeling very dry in that flavor. Um, I can definitely taste the hops um, on the front end and on the very back of the tongue, which is uh, nice. I like a little hops flavor on the back of the tongue. Um, a lot of you know brewers will only focus on the front part, not the back, so that's nice. Um, It's a very clean beer, and there's not a lot of taste that's coming through. A lot of flavors is coming through really heavy. I definitely get that soapy, piney hops taste. Um, but, you know, this is a Three Floyds beer, so it's no surprise that it's hoppy. And on the back end, I get... The aftertaste is almost like... A sweet glaze, almost like a pralines, and uh, kind of kind of a little bit of a malty flavor on the back end. Um, so it it does have some balance to it. It's not as balanced as a lot of pale ales, particularly Alpha King from Three Floyds. Um, but I definitely can tell this kind of bready toffee like flavor on the back end. Um, but as I said, really what comes through is the hops, um, both on the aroma and whenever I drink it, maybe a little bit of an orange zest in the, in the aroma and the flavor. This is a very solid beer. Um, it's very well done compared to a lot of harvest ales I've had that are very hoppy and have that heavy pine or soapy flavor. And surprisingly, Three Floyds often does hop the ever-living hell out of all their beers. I mean, that's no secret. This one is very well done. I would like a little more malt on the back end to balance it out. But then again, though, this is supposed to be an IPA. Um, so 
not a huge surprise there. there's not a pale ale where you would expect a little more malty uh, balance so all in all I think that this is like an a beer I mean we're looking at a 90 maybe 95 percent you know on a scale from 1 to 100 um, beer so definitely check it out again the bottle for your reference and I'll put um, a photo of some sort up for the uh, thumbnail image but Brewdoo from Three Floyds, uh, and it'll have the little hop with the uh, laurel around its head. And uh, yeah, as Three Floyds says, it's not normal. So go pick it up, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, reply to me on Twitter. You can tweet at the Somologist. And um, coming up, we may have some opportunities to try a particularly rare Three Floyds beer that I have um, in my coffers. So. By all means, if I hear from you guys um, and there's some message board chatters and tweets, I'll uh, go ahead and select one of you or maybe more than one of you to uh, come by and help me taste this thing. So please, by all means, comment below or uh, tweet me at the Somologist and let me know what you think.